Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Everyday EDC. My name is Tyler and today we have the CJRB Centros with some muck on the blade. Let's see if we can get that off for you so you can see it like it is new. Good enough. Alright, so those of you kind of watching chronologically, you will probably have already seen my CJRB Briar review. Um, the CJRB Briar and the Centros are so similar, I decided to kind of carry them both, get an idea for them both, and then, you know, do a review on them both, and maybe give an opinion on which one's which. <laughs> That's the Centros. This is the Briar. Yeah? Yeah, stupid. Not, on, not an idea on which one's which. which. Which one would I choose, right? So jumping right into it, we got some jimping up here. It's a thumb stud knife. A little bit of smuts down there. Thumb stud knife, you got... A liner lock, steel liners, there's no milling on these liners. I'm not going to bust out my shitty uh, flashlight because you guys can't see it. There's no milling on the inside of there. There's no milling on the inside of these. Deep carry pocket clip that carries a little bit deeper than the briar. Ergo's on it. This feels pretty darn good. You're locked in. You're not going nowhere. It doesn't feel great. I feel like if I were to do a lot of work in this position, this finger would get a little tired resting against here. Not a huge deal because, in my opinion, both of these knives are not meant to really work per se when it comes to, if you're going to go tear down boxes for a whole fucking day, I don't think this is the knife that you would choose. I wouldn't. I'm sure, you know, everybody has their own preference. But to me, these are too stabby, too long, too skinny to be like, these are the knives I want to break down with boxes, you know. Something more like the PM2, where you can really bear down on it and get in there, that would be more of my choice for breaking down some boxes. Or even the Rat Model 2, Rat Model 1. Fantastic knife, fantastic ergos. You're, you're, it's a similar ergo, but for some reason, the Rat feels better. But, anyways. G10, not recessed, it's on ceramic ball bearings. Steel liner lock. Lockup's pretty damn good. Blade is relatively center. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it's a little to the right. I fixed it once already, but it, it's, it's been drifting on me, so it is what it is. It doesn't affect the action at all, so don't worry about that. Let's get into some specs. One second. Dun, 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 dun. We are at eight and a quarter inches overall with a blade length of three and a half inches and a cutting edge of just under three and a half inches. Blade stock thickness. Let's get into that here. Looking at about 130 thousandths. That's just about where that's just about where we were. On the briar, I think the briar might have been 120. I'm not 100 percent sure. I think they were about the same. Now I'm thinking about it. So the thickness behind the edge is floating between two and three, which means it's about 25 thousandths behind the edge. Briar came in at a solid two. It was not floating where I had it, anyways. So I'm going to say that the briar is a little bit thinner behind the edge. Uh, this has a full flat grind except for this portion right here which carries out so it's i'd say about a 7 8 flat grind let's go into our overall weight it's a little bit heavier than the briar it's coming at 4.06 ounces the briar came in just under four um obviously this is a little bit more knife you're getting a thicker blade and a little bit thicker handle so not a huge deal Go into the width, about the same exact as the briar. The overall height in the pocket of your knife. Coming in about 101.2, which I don't remember what this one was. Yeah, it's about one tenth overall taller in your pocket than the briar itself as well. Action on this guy. The action on this guy is just fine. Um, you know, it's it's not great because I am a little dissatisfied that detent is a little weak. It does not really affect much, but like I said with the briar, I tried to fail it and it came out like that. Let's see what happens when I try to fail this. 
Oh. Well, way to make me an asshole. Not the same. It might be from the angle that you're moving the thumb studs. Um, actually, we can do one more test here. That's the briar. And here is the Centros. Now they get sucked in right about the same time, but the Centros doesn't have as good of a strong tang as it gets sucked in. So, again, it's a feel thing. I can tell you from the feel of it, the detent feels weaker. Um, is that science? No, it's just my feeling. So, take that for what you will. All right, let's do some size comparisons. We will do the Centros versus the Dogma and the Doves. A little bit bigger than both of those. It's got the Dogma beat by about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more. King Savivi, right there. Everybody make way, pay your respects. Here is the PM2 with our ProTech Newport. As you can see, it's a little bit longer than the PM2. Just a little bit, maybe a tenth of an inch. Let's do our CJRB sandwich between the Feldspar and the Mini Feldspar. It's a little bit longer than the Feldspar, much longer than the Mini. And last but certainly not least, we have our Rat 1 and our CJRB Rio. As you can see, the Rat 1 is maybe slightly longer. Maybe. It's, it's not significant. Um, tenth of an inch, maybe. Much larger than the Rio. As far as cutting, I mean, I've done a lot of work with this knife so far as far as just cutting random shit, and it cuts just fine. I mean, it's, honestly, I got the Feldspar in, and I wanted to like the Centros more than the Feldspar. Um, unfortunately, I believe the Feldspar came in at a little bit higher quality. Uh, I think they got everything right with the Feldspar, whereas this one, what they didn't get right as far as the D10 strength and everything else, really the D10 strength and the blade centering, uh, they got right with the Feldspar for sure. So um, that's why kind of the Feldspar takes a little bit more for me. Um, all that being said, the Centros is a great knife. Um, it's, it's, again, it's a little stabby in the shape of it and everything, and, and I don't feel like you're going to take it out and really work with it all day, every day. But to get your everyday EDC tasks done, if you like carrying a knife that is a 3.5 inch blade, about 8 and a quarter inches long overall, then you're really going to like this knife. Uh, the er the ergos on it are are okay. They're they're I would say above okay and below good, in my opinion. I mean you're locked in, but I can feel this being annoying right here. There's something about the way this side of the scales are cut versus the way your finger is cut here that I can feel this here. Pocket clip not a hot spot. Um, I didn't say that about the the briar, but the that one in. I don't feel the liner with the or the the scale with the briar, but I do feel the pocket clip. So um, I feel the pocket clip a lot less with the Centros, but I do feel this side of it. Which one annoys me more? Uh, it's kind of biased. I've already made my decision. I think this one annoys me just a little bit more than feeling that pocket clip. But again, all this being said, guys, this is a great, fantastic knife for about thirty-five bucks. If this is your style. The only recommendation that I would tell you is check out the briar. It's a little bit thinner, a little bit stabbier looking, a little bit longer, but I think it gets a little bit more right than the Centros does. Now, take that for what you will. You know, that is what it is. That's my opinion. By no means an expert at anything, just somebody that you chose to watch on YouTube to see this review. So, other than that, I mean, that's basically it, guys. It's, it's another top knife of CJRB. Obviously, CGRB's got the Rhea, shortly followed by the Feldspar and maybe the Mini Feldspar, and then you got the Centros as well. Um, those are kind of the top 
top killing knives right now as far as CJRB goes, at least his popularity. So you can't you can't go wrong with this. I will say, and and I, I've noticed this on every CJRB knife, the pivots, and I don't know what it is, but the pivots are D shaped, which means they're supposed to be locked in place, and you got a T8 on either side. But I'm telling you, I've had to use two T8 Torx drivers to take these things apart. I don't remember if I've taken this one fully apart. I have tried to adjust this so that I can adjust the, uh, the blade centering, you know, using a Metal Complex's trick. But I don't know what it is. It, it, it has too much play in there, and that's kind of annoying. It doesn't affect the overall function, but when you're taking your knives apart, it does annoy me a little bit. Uh, but that's with every CJRB that I've experienced to take apart. It's not just anyone in particular. So I don't know if the tolerances for the pivot are different or whatever the case is. I never really gave too much more thought other than the fact that it annoyed me slightly. And, you know, kind of moved on from there. Let's see. Is there anything else for my thoughts? We got the CJRB logo on there. It's a D2 blade in case I didn't say that. That design is the Dylan Mallory design. Unfortunately for me... I have not experienced, this is probably my first Dylan Mallory that I've held in my hand, so I don't really have much to bounce it off of with his other designs. I don't even know what his other designs are. Um, didn't do my research before this, but uh, I know he's a well-known name in the knife designing world, and there's sure a reason for it, besides the fact that his logo is cool as shit looking. Looks like something from Diablo 2. But uh, that's the CGRB Centros, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any feedback, if you my new overhead view, if you guys prefer this over the other one, let me know. Um, it's a little bit more difficult for me to do the review. I'm standing up and I feel a little bit more awkward, but I it, it looks so much better that it's worth it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And beyond that, have a great day. Stay, sh stay sharp. Stay safe. Wear your fucking masks. Respect everybody. You know, that six-foot distancing shit. If somebody's... <sighs> I was in the grocery store the other day. Story time. And I don't know what it is about people in my area, but every now and then you get, like, a dude that just walks up behind you and he gives you, like, a foot between you and, like, your groceries. Totally side topic, a little mini rant in the end of this review. Just, just fucking, it's six foot distancing. Let alone everybody has a personal bubble, you know? He was inside my bubble assuming COVID wasn't around. So just keep that mindful, like... That's annoying as shit to some people, and you might not even realize you're doing it. It's not that I'm worried about COVID. It's just like everybody's got a bubble of personal space, and unless I invite you in, stay the fuck out, right? All right. Totally off topic. Probably should edit that one out. Yeah. But I won't. So you guys have a great day. Stay sharp. Stay safe. Take care of each other. Thanks.